Hello, good evening. Let me just shut the door so you don't see the mess. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe for lots of things. I do Disney, I do vlogs, I do hauls. I'll leave some below so you can go and watch after this. It's a weekly vlog. My heart is full of little bit of sadness today because the kiddos have just gone back to school after a lovely week thanks so much for your comments on instagram and on my last youtube video about our holiday we had such a lovely time and now we're on the countdown to disney world unless we're trying to sneak another holiday in but i don't think so so kids have gone back we've only got six weeks till the summer holidays but i really miss them the house is so quiet when they're not around and they drive me bonkers and Stephen drives me bonkers when they're not around like my little heart just goes me um but i'm back in the office because as i said before in the vlog i'm trying to work in the office a little bit more um because it's nice in here i've got all my favorite things in here and also Stephen. And I'm going to show you this because he doesn't watch it. But Stephen did a little bit of DIY in the office. Because we've had the office now maybe a year. Yeah, over a year. And I was like, I really want the window still painted. And I know I could have painted it myself. But he was like, no, I'll paint it, I'll paint it. So he painted it. Guys, I love him. I don't think you can see. He has done an incredibly... Bad. Oh, look, there's Lucy. Lulu! She's like, what the hell's going on? He's done a very bad job, but I didn't say anything to him. He also put up a little blind for me because a lot of the stuff in here was getting sun damage because it's so bright in here. And Erin came up and she's like, Mommy, why does Daddy keep shouting at the blind? And he didn't tell me, but Erin told me. I think he had to saw it in half. <laughs> but it works. So, God love, God love husbands who try to... It works. Yeah, it, oh god, I thought it didn't work there. God love husbands who aren't great at DIY, but try their best to make their wives happy. I, at the weekend, however, put up some new pictures. I was so pleased because I wanted to have like one of those photo kind of collage walls. And anything I ever put up is always wonky. So I was like, right, I'm gonna try. Desenio got in touch and said to me, right, pick some nice pictures and frames for your office. So I did, and then I went on the site, and what you can do is there's like um, templates, so you can work out how many of each size frame you need. So that's what I did, and I'm very excited to show you. I'll also go through the prints, because I know some of you out there will love these prints, so let me just show you. Look at it, it looks good. I did it all myself, I'm not gonna lie, there's a couple that I had to take off and hammer in again, but we don't need to see the extra nail marks. Right, okay, so I went for good vibes only because do you know what? You need a bit of motivation. That's what I'm thinking. I've also kind of went for black, white with a bit of touch of pink. Do more of what makes you happy. We all know what makes me happy. Candles make me happy. Mugs make me happy. Royal Housewives of New York makes me happy. I got a boob print because the boobs are the favourite part of my bod and you've got to love that body. I went for like a New York what would we call this like exterior there was a really nice new york map and i might get that for inside the house then simply cactus covering marshmallows i love cactuses i love marshmallows it made me happy we've got nap queen because that's me in a nutshell i love napping and i'm a queen and then hakuna matata whenever i say hakuna matata i always think do I sound really brummy? Akuna Matata. Got Akuna Matata. I think I sound a little bit brummy, so we've got the Akuna Matata. And then finally, this one is my fave. And I actually ordered one for my friend Kate as well, because this is us in a nutshell. I have got dog, but I did used to have two cats, and you might remember if very, very start of my channel, but they passed away. So this is me in the form of a prince. I love Desenio because. You can buy a print and you can buy a frame that matches and you don't have to be scrabbling around trying to find a frame or trimming things to try and put it in. They're really easy to put up. They arrive super quick, so there we go. And also for you lovely lot, because I know you like doing kind of things like this. I also did a video where I did some in Erin's room and they looked beautiful as well. There is 25% off for the next couple of days. I'll leave in the description box 
when the offer runs out so you know if you use the code brummy mummy 25 so that's on the prints it's not on the frame or personalized prints but on those prints there you get 25 percent off so make sure you go and check out the website below have a little peruse around I put, because you can favourite the ones you like, I had favourited about 50 and I had to whittle it down to these. But does it look good? It's like a proper Instagram and I bought down a, a pot, a plant. Fake. I bought down a plant to make it look even better. So, yay. Thanks, Asenio. Right, I'm going to go um, and take some rubbish because the bin is never emptied down here. I'm going to take some rubbish back to the house and I think I'll come back with you and talk about summer clothes for the kiddos. I love Desenio because you can buy a print and you can buy a frame that matches and you don't have to be scrabbling around trying to find a frame or trimming things to try and put it in. They're really easy to put up. They arrive super quick. So there we go. And also for you lovely lot, because I know you like doing kind of things like this. I also did a video where I did some in Erin's room and they looked beautiful as well. There is 25% off for the next couple of days. I'll leave in the description box when the offer runs out so you know if you use the code BRUMMYMUMMY25. So that's on the prints. It's not on the frame or personalised prints but on those prints there you get 25% off. So make sure you go and check out the website below. Have a little peruse around. I put, because you can favourite the ones you like, I had favourited about 50 and I had to whittle it down to these. But does it look good? It's like a proper Instagram and I bought down a, a pot, a plant. Fake. I bought down a plant to make it look even better. So, yay. Thanks, Desenio. Right, I'm going to go um, and take some rubbish because the bin is never emptied down here. I'm going to take some rubbish back to the house and I think I'll come back with you and talk about summer clothes for the kiddos. Summer clothes make me feel fine. So we have oh, the stairs of horror. Um, we went and bought the kids a few summer clothes. You might remember what I did a couple of weeks ago. I did a kind of shop my wardrobe where I showed some of the clothes the kids would be wearing again this year. And then it became apparent that Erin, old legs still along long, needed a few new bits and pieces. So I have bought her some bits and pieces in age nine. She's eight, so she should get two summers. Hopefully. I don't know. She's just got such long legs. So I'll just go to wardrobe. I have put the stuff away. Um, but I will show you a couple of bits because I think you lot will like them. So, there is a whole like range of clothes in um, Sainsbury's that are like rainbows and stuff. When I went to Sainsbury's I was a bit disappointed. Take a shot every time I pull my bra up. I was a bit disappointed because some of the clothes were, um, weren't that great. And I was like, oh, but then there was a whole aisle of this. It's really 70s. So I got her some rainbow shorts that came in a pack with some red ones, I think. I got her some rainbow leggings. These stripy tops. It was 25% off. So this was a two pack, so it was nine pounds with some stripy tops. They're hangers that we have already. What else did I get her? Oh, I got her a few. Let me know if you can relate, mums of eight year olds that they kind of all of a sudden don't really want to wear like tutus. If you can hear a noise, it's the guinea pig having a drink of water. Finished? No, still just gonna carry on, are you? Hello, lovely. She doesn't want to wear tutus or skirts or dresses anymore. Um, so I got her some little jumpsuits. I got this one, which was £11, but obviously we've got 25% off. And then I got this longer one, and I thought these would be great for um, little parties in the summer. Also, when we go to Animal Kingdom, these would be really nice. She really liked that one. And one last thing I got. What was I just thinking about? Oh, yeah. Got her a set of two, like, really cash 
Look at that. Imagine that in the 70s with a pair of roller skates, please. So these were just gorgeous. She really liked them. So that's um, kind of Erin's stuff. And then I'll take you upstairs and show you some of Ethan's stuff. We should just do, I just want somebody to make a montage of all the times it's just me exhausted climbing upstairs. <laughs> There'd be a lot of them. Right, so I did pop to Primark, as you remember from that video. You must go and check it out. I like, oh, just dropped the bag. Um, I thought quite a lot of people would like that video because loads of people asked for it. Washing. But it wasn't quite as popular as I thought. So, guys. Go and check it out, the, the, the Shop My Wardrobe. So, in the Shop My Wardrobe, you'll know that Ethan has got loads of shorts that he can still wear, so we didn't really need to get him any shorts. But what we did get him was, and Primark is the best for this, 100%. We got him lots of t-shirts. So, these are £1.30. You will see a pattern shirt. I just think a striped t-shirt... You can get it from like a cheaper shop or you can get it from expensive shop. This could be from Jules, you wouldn't know. It's just a striped t-shirt. And my kids have had striped t-shirts in Primark and they do wash really well. Should I see if they go in the tumble dryer? That's always like a good, good news. Fingers crossed guys. Yes! They go in the tumble dryer. So you've got a striped blue top. You will see a pattern. <laughs> kind of stripy orange top. Then we got this really nice green one. So they're really cool, so he's covered for t-shirts. And then for Erin, she decided that she likes to wear some stuff from the boys. She's kind of over the unicorn t-shirts and she's over like the pink stuff and she's not really into sparkles anymore. So for Erin, I love this to go with the whole 70s vibes of her other clothes. This is in 9 to 10, this is £1.80. Look, it's just like a California t-shirt and that will definitely last for a couple of years. And a nice stripy t-shirt. For both of them, these were in the boys section. They wanted to twin. So I picked up these kind of like fake Birkenstocks. These were £6 each. They'll be really nice. We're on holiday. And then also I got them both for when we go to um, Toy Story Land, I got them one of these caps. I thought this is a great cap. It says Andy underneath. So this is four pounds. So that's some bits. Stephen, if you're watching, turn off now, but he won't be watching because he never watches my videos. But for Father's Day, I picked up for Stephen a Pizza Planet t-shirt, which I thought was so fun, eight pounds. I thought that'd be really good for holiday. And we always buy Daddy some comedy socks. So this year he's got Star Wars socks because we are going to be in Florida at the opening of Galaxy's Edge. So he's got his Star Wars socks. And as we know, I'm trying to cut back on getting stuff. So I just picked up two items for me for Disney. Um, I've got this spotty um, Toy Story land top, which I thought was lovely. And this was... Six pounds, and I thought this would go really nice with my yellow skirt that I own. And then this, I really like this, with the little star, and this will be like used to put all my plugs and stuff on when we go on holiday. So there we go, a couple of little cheeky hauls. Sainsbow's and Primark. I don't think we'll be doing any other summer hauls. Um, I have been collecting stuff for Disney, as I usually do, so there'll probably be a Disney kind of haul before we go but that won't be for a while so if i do any outfits of the day for me i put them on my insta stories so you must make sure you go and check those out right i'm going to go and get ready because a friend's just emergency messaged me and said she's feeling a bit fed up and could i go and meet her and i'm always willing to go and have a cup of cake and a convo with a chum so sorry for the washing but we know it always lives there i'll see you Tomorrow. Hello gorgeous humans, it's Wednesday. I've had a busy morning, I got up, took the kids to school, took some of their stuff to the charity shop like I mentioned from Monday and then I went and had my nails took off. I've had 
um, stuff on my nails like um, gel and then I had S something, I can't remember, it's like a powder stuff, since September. Time goes so quick and I was like, these little nails need a break, but they feel like little alien naked now, so they've just got like uh, some strength on because they're a bit weak. So I've not got nice nails now. I used to like the nice nails and videos and hold up photos. And then I wrote a blog post and I will leave that below or go and check my blog. I've got a blog with, I'm gonna guess maybe 500 blogs on there, maybe even more. Let's go and check, shall we? This is where we check and I've got like two. So I started my blog in 2013 on I think it was the 29th or the 30th of December. You can see that it was like a New Year's resolution. And I have been blogging ever since. Back in the day, I used to write sometimes seven blogs a week. Now I try and do one a, um, one a week, sometimes two. So on here, there are <clears throat> 1,133 blog posts for you to read all your way through. We've got everything from like starting at like with, you know, like toddlers and then we've got going to school. We've got body confidence. We've got relationships. Um, and I wrote one today, which was 90, a date in the 90s way. And then last week there was a blog post, I can't remember if I mentioned it, I mentioned it on my Instagram, that was read so far by 170,000 people, 11 ways to feel beach ready when you're a bit chubby. So go and check out my blog. On the front page of those two, we've also got a Disneyland Paris blog post, something about new mums, and then just a really soppy post about the kids. So go and check the blog. There's loads on there. Happy Thursday! I'm very excited because I have nowhere to be, so I don't have to wear any makeup, and I can just rock the plain look. On Mondays, um, I'm gonna be going to dance class with my friend Rachel. Um, it's like mum dance, it's called mum dance, and you do like, uh, like 80s and 90s dance routines. So, I just went to Matalan. I have never bought athletic wear in my life. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not that athletic. So I just went to Matland and bought some, because I asked on Instagram, I was like, what's the best athletic wear? And loads of people said, loads of people said, Matalan. However, my friend Mel this morning said Sainsbury's, so I'll try Matalan. I tried them on, they're really nice. First of all, I got two like sports bra things. Why did none of you lot tell me how comfortable sports bras are? So I got a gray one and a black one. Oh, they're blissful. I wish I'd known about them when I was pregnant. Oh, when I was, um, when I'd had the kids, because they're so comfy. So I've got a grey one and a black one, because they're eight pound each. And then I've got these, like, grey kind of plain leggings. They were, I think they were like 14 pounds, maybe. These are super, these are like super comfy, everyday wear leggings. And then I bought ones that were a little bit more jazzy. They aren't quite as comfy as the grey ones. You can't see they're inside out. So I will wear the leggings with one of those sports bras and then one of my many, many tops with pop stars on. Got Britney, got Lady Gaga, got to take that. So I just got these ones as well. I also think that Erin, well Erin really wants to go jogging. I've explained to her, I do not jog. I could do a fast walk. So I think once a week, me and Erin might go and do that. What Maybe when Ethan's at um, Beavers or when, um, or when they when Ethan does swimming, because she doesn't do swimming lessons anymore because she can swim really well. So that's me all cool. Oh, hang on, no, these are different. This has got no support and I didn't try this one. I've just noticed this has got a bit of support in. So I hope this one fits as well. I shall let you know. So, yeah, I just want to learn some dance routines. First one we learn is Vogue, Vogue. Let your body come on. Strike a pose, there's nothing to it. Vogue, bum, 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 bum. I mean, I don't, need, I don't really need a class, I can do it anyway. Just finished watching Team Mom. The whole Janelle plot line upsets me. Because those poor kids, 
And, and I know she's, she's, she's not great, but I think, I genuinely think she does love them. Oh, she's just got in with a bit of an arsehole, hasn't she? Said, don't give up, it's a little complicated. That is my little kiddo's favorite song. I'm escaping upstairs. I love my children. I love them dearly. I love them with all my heart. But from the second I picked them up today, also, somebody's obviously drawn something on the door, which I've just noticed. From the second I picked them up today, they haven't stopped talking. So we are now on hour three, just talking to me. And I'll be honest, kids, if you're watching this when you're a bit older and you're watching videos back of my, sometimes I didn't know what you were talking about. Especially the little boy child. No, no clue, no clue. So I do a lot of, look at all the different lights. Oh, they look like Elsa. There it go. So I do a lot of, oh, that's nice, that's lovely. That's lovely. Oh, bed. hang on, let you come back. Weird blue light. Um, There was a lot of that action going on. A lot of action. So I was like, Stephen, I'm just gonna pop to the toilet, AKA come upstairs and hide from the small humans I created in my room. Um, so my nails. As you remember, I had my nails took off. They are weak. So, I went to Boots and I bought this. It was £18.95. I was sure, oh, you can also see I've been having a little go at my skin. £18.95 and I was like, oh. And it's like a nail strengthener, so let me know if you've got any nail tips. But I bought this nail strengthener, um, and I figured it's cheaper than paying 30 quid to have my nails done if I just keep putting that on. So hopefully that's going to help. And also, um, the football England games on tonight, you know if they will or not. I will not know, to be honest. I do support England, but I don't really care. So tonight I'm going to stay upstairs. I'm going to put my nail strength on. Maybe should I have a face mask? Maybe I'll do some sort of pamper session. Um, paint my toenails and just generally have a little chillax. Quite tired today. Because on a Thursday, I take the kids out for a thrilling Thursday, as we call it, and we go and have fun. And today we went for a long walk with a piece of cake at the end of it. So I'm a little bit, and then I took them to the park. And it was just all very frantic. I actually don't know how, how long this vlog will be this week. It's been a very homey vlog. I haven't done a homey vlog for ages, have I? It's been like kind of adventures and out and about and Disney and all sorts of things. So I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a bit chilled. Buying sportswear. <laughs> it's not that, do you know what? I was thinking maybe I could sleep in a sports bar. These are the thoughts that go through my head. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. A high five if you want to subscribe. I mean, it's not been the most thrilling of content, but we can't always be gallivanting around, can we? Also, this angle's not that nice. All of my chub goes to the side. Um, I have got a meetup tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be seeing some of you there. Uh, my manager, Paul, is trying to sort out like a Oh my god, can you see my pants in the back? <laughs> what pants? No pants on the floor. Um, my manager's trying to sort out a meetup, kind of like in an evening. And I think there's going to be one in London. So if you live in London, I'm going to be coming your way. Don't leave me hanging all by myself. And then I'd like to do one in Manchester as well. So let me know if you want me to come to a town near you. I love you lots. I'll see you soon for another video. Night, guys.